three wee guys commit a crime. I don't know who it was a time do it. Can you can you untime them out and just give them a, a cheeky one or time it? Three wee guys commit a crime, let the story commence. Uh, three wee guys were um, trying to break into a motor. Just then, three other guys, uh, three big guys came up. Vigilantes. And they went, we're sick of wee bastards ruining in this community. And they went, you aren't f they, they did, you know, like if you if you if you catch a wind smoking, you make them smoke the whole fucking pack. You aren't fucking water, you aren't you know, you aren't you I break into your fucking water. You want to break into your fucking water. And they used the wee guys to break into three other motors. Except what they did was they picked up like the first wee guy, they picked him up smashed him through uh, the windy and smashed his head into the the bit where you've got to kind of pull open to rip the cables out and all that. Smashed him in like that. And to break the steering lock, they put his arm in, right, and then pulled his arm around like that. Like, you got to fucking do that to break a steering lock. I'm fucking snapped it. We guy was fucking screaming. Wee guy was fucking screaming. No so fucking hard now, eh? Screaming, man. Then the guy went, like, ah, you, you fucking took a knife, fucking rammed it right in his cheekbone, like that. Bang, man. Just left him there. Left him there. Was he dying? Was he no? Was he more? That's the way you're going to be. That's that. Then they moved on to the R2. The second one, they want you want to break into a motor. Come on, come on, don't bother with the real money's in the the big fucking the construction stuff. Want to me a building site? Hey, come here, come here, you, you wee bastard! Come here, you. I'm sorry, I won't do it again. Too fucking right, you won't do it again. Too right, you won't do it again. Do you think him? And the theorem picked up the second wee guy. The other wee guy, by the way. Uh, wasn't he chained up somewhere? He was just standing there, rooted to the spot, because he was fucking petrified. Because he was looking at three wee guys who had now grown up. And they went, Hey, wee man, get in the back of the cement mixer, I'm going to kill you. So they weren't even, they, they dropped the whole idea of, like, I'll make you steal that. They just sort of, uh, sadism had taken there and it just it didn't make any sense anymore and they shoved the second wee guy in the back of a big giant cement mixer thing on a construction site that was already there there was another guy in on it in the, in the building site um, because they went out looking for, for this you know they, see if they hadn't got these three wee guys knocking them off they'd grab anybody they had bloodlust and put them in the back and it was all filmed and everything, man. Stuck them in the cement mixer, making sure uh, the wee guy was getting tumbled a bit long enough that he started to drink some of the, the liquid, you know, the wet cement. And then when it was in and it was deed, they pulled him out and left them there for a while. Put them in front of some heaters. And then they fucking smashed them open. So that inside you had a perfect concrete like you could see all the tubes and all that, you know, the um, intestines and all that. That they, they cut all that away, so you just left for that, and they gave that to the science centre in Glasgow, like to kind of illustrate the body and things like that. The third one, the third wee guy was begging for his life, please don't. And the three guys went like that. We're going to tear you limb for limb because of what they did. To our William Wallace. And the wee guy was like, I, I don't know what you're talking what do you mean? What's this got to do with the motor? What have, what, what's this got to do with William Wallace? And you know what they did? 
they dragged them to a um, kind of wasn't it a drag car sort of thing, but it's kind of like that. They tied one arm to that motor, one arm to that motor, and um, the third guy. He was just sort of like there. In the back of the motors, I pulled the I. Is at the back of the two motors, and and the main guy went like that. Hit the back of the motors as if they were like the the arses or horses. They went like, yep ya, yep ya, and they went vroom. Fucking wee guy was fucking. It it wasn't a, it wasn't a, a clean pull apart like you would think. This this isn't a cartoon. Um. One leg got ripped off. Uh, the rest of the body went with the other motor. So they kind of fucked it up. So they had to tie him, but this time one arm on that one. The the same leg again on the other one. That leg was already a bit kind of... Uh, the bones were pulled out and all the rest of it. So that, they were like, they started putting bets in. I think it's going to be the leg because that's already been dislocated. Now it's just a matter of the, the muscle and the skin getting ripped. That other arm, the arm's intact. Tie that, tie that. And the guy went like that. Gone now, yeah! And they went away. The leg got ripped off. So that's two legs gone, two arms in the heat. And the torso. Wee guy was still alive. And you know what? The poor wee guy went like that. Please, gonna help me, gonna get to me a hospital. I actually thought there was a chance he was gonna survive us. And one of the older guys started, they, they said to each other before they did this, we, our, our conscience is going to fight against us when we're doing this, right? But we know what needs to be done. No cunts allowed to buckle, because we are real men. And one of them started, and this is the ringleader as well, the ringleader was like that. I don't know about this. They were only breaking into a fucking motor. I mean, for fuck's sake. And the other two went like that. We, we need to... He's seen our face. Do you know what I mean? He's, there's not much we can do now. He's, he's seen our face. Do you feel the same way that I do? Are you regretting this? No, reg no regretting it, but I just... I don't, I don't feel right about it anymore. No. And the other one went like that. I, just, I, 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 I never did think we should have done this. In the first place, what did you know say for? What did you know say for? And then the other one went like, right, just listen, don't don't panic. Just we'll just do what needs to be done and then we won't do it again. And the wee guy was like, please just take me to a hospital. I won't tell any cunt what you have done here the night. And they went like that. Do you want it? The three guys went like, do you want it? Do you want to actually do it? Just actually take him to a hospital before he completely bleeds out. They went, aye, right. They drove him to the hospital. <laughs> Wait you hear this, you're not going to believe this. This is this is typical of how, how bad things have got. These three guys, they could have just finished them off. They could have just went like that, right, left him. They showed mercy and they showed a bit of humanity. They took him to the hospital. He died. Uh, um, they, they tried to operate, but he's fucked. You know, they, hopefully the guts were out. They were back at the fucking... Uh, back at where the motors were. They're fucked. Some of the guts got trapped in the door. They shut the fucking door and some of the guts were trapped in the door and they didn't know he was wriggling about in the back and pulling his guts out a bit more. Um... There's bits of it everywhere. Um, so he died after an hour operating. And wait, you hear this? They got arrested for it. So just to just to remind you of what's actually happened, these three wee bastards started it. They were breaking into a motor. That's a motor that you might have, that somebody you know and care about might have breaking in 
Testi o your jacket. To steal that umbrella that you might have forgot to pick up and they're taking it away. Maybe even you've left um, a work laptop there. Maybe money. Maybe an external card battery. Um, a phone battery, sorry. That's one for the blooper reel. Jewellery, perhaps. Jewellery. Maybe you, you might have taken off some jewellery in the water because it's getting in the way. I don't know. I'm don't, I don't drive, but that. And you put it in the wee glove uh, compartment bit and then uh, you know, something like that. A right, hair tie, something like that. Um, maybe you left your fucking phone there. They're away with it. They started, doesn't matter, you're just not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to fucking lay a finger on a motor. Never mind fucking break it or scratch it. You're not allowed to lay a finger on it because it doesn't belong to you. So they started it and these three guys came along and did. I mean, a lot of you are like that, you know, uh, fuck the police and um, uh, ACAB and all that, right? So th these three guys are trying to do with the police... Uh, aren't they doing and shouldn't they be doing the police shouldn't be doing defund defund the police defund them defund them systems rotten to the core so so you need someday fucking you know sort the you know uh, protect people's belongings and things like that you know that these guys are just trying to do what's fucking right they're trying to be progressive And the evil fucking system jailed them. They got the jail for that. They're in there right now. Nowhere fucking PS6 or a PS7. They're having to make the, the three of them in the one cell having to make do with a PS5. Ignore the Bobby uh, content out there. Haven't they make do with a PS5? Three of them in the one cell. But, full, the full story is that was just for the first night when they got there. Um, before they got put into, you know, they sorted out their, their sleeping arrangements. I'm pleased to say there is a happy ending. Amnesty International have managed to get them a present. Each one's got a present to themselves. A villa. It's a new type of jail. Um, it's kind of villa. Pool. Pool table. Pri uh, in private gym. Um, they're allowed out. And they get to keep that that prison villa. So basically they get a free house, luxury house, and they're actually no jailed at all. But they they, they do live in it, so they're effectively spending some time in that jail. And um they've kept on doing it. They've killed a air two hundred wee guys. Uh to get hussies for their family. And all that, you know, brothers, sisters, my mom, what might I get my mom a house? So they killed two wee guys, one of them killed two wee guys in order to get two prison villas and then sort of connected them to make like a big, big fucking, you know, like a big plot of land and all that for the mall. Because that mall worked a fucking arse off bringing that, that guy up. It went like that, there you go. That's for more. It went like that. She went, Oh, what's this? It's for you, Ma. Oh, oh, oh my boy. Oh, 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 Like that. The end.
Everybody, I've got a bit of a twist. You know how I said that was an improv story? It's actually a true story. How do I know? I worked as a, a gardener in one of the places. Listened into all the conversations. I was like that, raking the leaves in autumn. So I was like, how, do you, how, are they, how is this cunt who owns this place? How are they able to pay for this? I heard the whole story. 